lsfund.org. Was sufficient warning given to the uh, people who were arrested at the jail last year? I've already commented on. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna comment on any of those issues right now. Okay, so this is uh, Keen Police Chief Ken Miola doing what he normally does, what he always does whenever I interact with him practically, uh, is, you know, obfuscation, stonewalling, say nothing, do nothing, run away, run away, uh, you know, that kind of thing. And I think there may be a reason for it. Uh, for those of you who are listening to uh, the uh, infamous broadcast on TalkBack uh, in November of 2012, I, I, I listened to the whole thing, found it just fascinating. Kim Miola was interviewed by some other uh, keen bureaucrats on this show called Talkback. No bureaucrat. No bureaucrat. But the show was dominated by people calling in and, you know, raising questions about what Ken Miola has been doing over there at the police department. So, anyway, you know, as I was listening, I found that I had to keep stopping the file and writing down what Ken Miola had said because it was so outrageous. Uh, and here's one quote that I have from that interview, which you can find on freekeen.com. Uh, quote, Ken Miola, police chief of uh, uh, Keene. Quote, Unfortunately, we don't police language at the police department. Unquote. Unfortunately. He was talking about, I guess, you know, people in Town Square or Railroad Square or whatever who, I don't know, use profanity or whatnot. But he thinks it's unfortunate that they can't police the language. I mean, what kind of a raving authoritarian thinks like that and gets a job? in the government. Well, I guess lots of them do. But anyway, yes, the craziness has infected Keene too. Don't let your New Hampshire town adopt a city-style government. It's <laughs> that's what you get the government like the government in Keene. But anyway, uh there what was the other thing? Uh Oh yeah, he made a promise. Now, I don't know this is not outrageous that he would make this promise, but if he doesn't keep it, then it would be outrageous. So, he said, "Quote, we are not altering the configuration of this vehicle at all." Unquote. Now, he was talking about this assault vehicle that the the, uh, key, the city recently got from the feds, this, uh, you know, urban warfare device, you know, America's, is probably America's 20th safest town, but no, they have to have an assault vehicle uh, so they can supposedly rescue people, but really it's for shooting people. Anyway, just want to make sure that you were all aware, if you didn't already notice, he has promised not to change the configuration. Just keep an eye and see if he really keeps that promise, if that configuration changes or doesn't change. I would be really surprised if there's no changes to his configuration, but I will be pleasantly surprised. Now, by the way, why is it news or why is it unusual to have a talkback show or, or a show in Keene where a bunch of liberty activists call in? Shouldn't that be happening every day? I mean, I'm not perfect, but back when I lived in Keene, I would call the talk radio show, you know, at least once a week. One of the call radio sh talk, you know, talk, in sh uh, <laughs> talk shows in Keene, because really Keene has outstanding talk radio regimen. And if you think, I mean, in the sense that you, there's a lot of shows you can call into. Um, well, and actually, for a small town, the quality is pretty high too. At least to the talk shows. I don't really like the news shows. The, 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 the local news blurbs that they do aren't very good. But uh, but the talk radio is good. And um, and also, another critique I'd have of the free keeners is, you know, okay, so if Ian Freeman did call in this day when Ken Miola was the guest. Uh, but it's like, you know, it's like Ian is just trying, again, he's trying too hard to be nice to his enemies when that's just not really, it doesn't really work for Ian. It would just I would just rather he was a jerk to his enemies, right? I mean, you know, he because when he's trying, he when he when he when he's trying to be nice or sounds like he's trying to seem like he's being nice, it just comes off passive aggressive. It just sounds like he's full of rage and pretending to be nice. That's what it sounds like. And so, Ian, my advice is just give it up. Just just be just yell at them. Just yell. I yell at people. I mean, my enemies and so forth. Like that. And the taxi driver that was tortured to death. That's not true. He wasn't tortured to death. He's dead. And they don't seem to hate me as much as they hate you. I don't know. Maybe it's because you got a bigger show and you're doing more damage than I am. But yeah, I, I don't know why you waste your time having breakfast with these people. And uh, you know, it's just I don't know. There's so many. Ian, Ian, you're a better activist than I am overall because you attract more new movers to the free state. But we put everything we do 
out there for people to see so that they can critique us and learn from our mistakes. And you're doing that very well. And I see mistakes that I'm learning from. So anyway, thanks guys. Thanks Ian. And, uh, you know, keep doing something, even if it's not perfect. See you guys out there. Why is it that students have to be forbidden from recording in the buildings? Why does everyone have no comment on this? Are you as unhappy as I am about public schools and their treatment of students? Heck, some of them don't even want to talk about students' rights. The school district bans students from, from running video cameras, doesn't it? I'm not going to discuss this with you right now. But dozens of kids in the free state have escaped jail school because of the Liberty Scholarship Fund. LSFund.org. They're getting an education that looks more like this. But their liberation efforts will only continue with your involvement. Help LSFund.org. Strike the root of tyranny in the state where it really counts. Donate today.